Generative Fill has just been announced in Adobe Firefly. In this video, we're going to check it out. It's a lot of fun, so let's get into it. Here we are inside Adobe Firefly, and if you scroll down, you now see that we can activate Generative Fill. We'll have text to image, text effects, generative recolor. There's others that we don't have access to further down the page. But for this video, we're going to go to Generative Fill. And if you used Adobe Firefly before, this looks very familiar. We can upload an image here, or there's some example images here that Adobe is allowing us to see some things that this tool can do. And normally I click into these, but a great thing about Adobe Firefly is uploading your own images, coming up with your own prompts and getting stuck in. In. There'll be other videos where they'll be exploring these photos, but I'm going to use some of my own photos because, as I said, it's a lot of fun. Upload image, and I'm going to start with a photo of myself. And this was actually for a headshot for my company email signature. And for a bit of fun, I want to change my shirt. So I'm going to come down to settings and with a few options here with brush size, which I'm going to bring down a little brush hardness, 50% OK on opacity. I have just got a trackpad at the minute. So I'm just going to roughly see if I can take out my top and I'll have to move down a little because that toolbar is in the way. So I'm just moving down just to get all of my green top. If I come on down here, there's a few options here. I can subtract something if I want, but I don't want to do that. So I'll re-add that and you can also add it. We've looked at settings. We'll look at background in a minute and invert. Do, does something similar. So describe the image you want to generate English only or leave blank. So first of all, I'll just hit generate just to see what Adobe Firefly does. And there we have it. It's given me a black top. Is it just me or has it made me a little more muscly? I'm not sure, but a black top and black. It's given me kind of a quirky t-shirt, all black t-shirts. That's a bit mad. And another black t-shirt. And it's even given me a, a, nice, a nice brown belt there, which is cool. If I click on more, it'll give me more options, but I'm not going to click on more. I can cancel or keep. I'm not going to keep any of these, although I do like the black top. And it is, it is, let's just take a second to say that is stunning what it was and what it is now. It just looks as if I am wearing a black top. I know it's black on black, but we're going to be a wee bit more creative. If I hit cancel and I have just typed in a Hawaiian shirt. I would love to see myself in a Hawaiian shirt. I'm excited about this. Hit generate. And this isn't real time. I'm going to speed it up a little. Whoa, there we are. A Hawaiian shirt. And that looks brilliant. There's something a little funny going on there. But that looks great. There's a little something funny going down here. But again, it's not too bad. That looks very, very, very good. I've even got a bit of a necklace going on there. That looks great. That looks like something from the 80s. I really like that shirt. I might, I might buy it if I could. And again, there's something a bit odd there. That one there, definitely, definitely I like. And let me see. It's, it's actually made me a bit slimmer there. You can see it's cut in. Now I'm going to click this more button and it's going to generate more options of a Hawaiian shirt. So if I don't like any of those four, I can generate more. There we have it again. Very, very nice. I'm just going to click through these very quickly. It's doing something odd there. But again, it's just the, wow, look at that. Look at that. Really makes my eyes pop, that one. And again, blue. And something a little odd going. And we're going to scroll back to the start. And I think that one is definitely my favorite. Might even make it onto my email signature. And I'm just going to keep that. And I'll also click download. And that is now download it to my files. I've just opened it up in files just so you can see. Let's zoom in to the quality. It looks really, really good. It's giving me a bit of a tan line down here. It's giving me a bit of a necklace and that looks brilliant. And it's given us an Adobe Firefly watermark down there. And I'll just zoom out. Really like that. I think I really saw the Hawaiian shirt. Other options up here, the three dots, we can publish it or copy it to clipboard. If I want to remove the background, if I simply click this button, it'll take a few seconds and the whole background has been removed. And that's real time. I didn't speed that up. That is absolutely brilliant. And if I want, if I click invert, now it's just a silhouette of me. And if I zoom in here, you can see it's done a really good job. A really good job with the hair. It's not perfect, 
but for a few seconds of work. This time, I want to see how I look in the denim jacket. Looks pretty good. Kind of looks like I've got a school bag on too. Uh, that there, not quite as sure, but it is very, very impressive. At a quick glance, that would fill you. There's a bit of a denim waistcoat going on. Don't mind that. This is this is brilliant. Like you're, you're talking seconds worth of work here. I'm going to type in clown clothes. What will I look like as a clown or wearing clown clothes? Yep, definitely a bit clownish there. Definitely look like a clown there. It's even given me dungarees. And I think I'm pulling that off quite well. That there, don't know what's going on there. It's like a French maid clown. And again, dungarees. So oh, I've even got a bit of a tattoo going on there. I'm going to type in leather jacket. Hopefully I look more like the fawns now. That's definitely me not looking like the fawns. That's more like a village person. And again, it's a very shiny leather jacket. Look at that. Look at that. Couldn't get away with that in the email signature. And again, that's it's a lot of fun. It's a crazy new world we're living in. And that looks really cool. So I've just hit back and I'm going to upload another image. And this time I will upload this image. This is a place in Northern Ireland. And I took this photo two summers ago with my drone. And again, I'm going to go into settings and I'm maybe going to bring the brush size down a little. And I'm going to click on this temple and I'll make it a little bigger. I'll maybe take away this path, make it a little bigger, maybe even take away this bit. And I'm simply going to type in an old castle generate. And that doesn't look too bad. I would like to make, yes, that definitely matches the color better. And that looks interesting. That looks pretty good also. And I'm not just as sure about that. I might click on more to see what the more options are. And I really like that. That blends into the picture very well. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool, and it's even took back the path, and I quite like that. And there's something odd going there. quite like that. I'm going to keep that. There's a bit of a town over here. So, oh, I'm trying to remove that, but it doesn't remove unless you say keep. So I'm going to keep that image. I'm going to remove this here. And I'm just going to hit generate because... I'm not too sure what it would type in, maybe cliffs or mountains or an old settlement or something like this. This looks like it has blended in. And look at that. That's amazing. That's just took out that. It, I'm absolutely stunned by that. That is brilliant. That just, and again, I could, that works really well. And that works really well. And that works really well. I was amazed with that, but I think that's better. And that's maybe better again. And I think that's <laughs> I think that's even better again. So I'm gonna click keep and this this do something else. This bring our settings up, brush size even more, and let's see how far we can push this. So this is a big, big area, and I'm gonna type in a fleet of old tall ships, and let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm not too sure about that. It is ships, but it looks a bit crowded. That's not bad. That's the one. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see what the other one is. That's not bad either. It's even showing the reflections of the sun. I quite like that. I think I'm going to go with that one because it is tall ships keep. And that has really transformed our image. I'm downloading that. Within seconds, within seconds, we have completely changed the look of this photo and this let's try another photo and as we can see here it can even do artwork so i'm going to upload a drawing that my daughter did and i'm simply going to remove this here and i'm going to type in a hat that's all i'm typing in and let's see what adobe firefly does that is brilliant it's given my daughter's drawn a hat and it's done it in the same style as the drawn. That looks super realistic. Let's click the next one. Really realistic. And again, and, and again, that's a little bit of a brighter yellow. But that, that one there is brilliant. And I think that one just goes in so well too. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's type in a pink hat, shall we say. 
It's a very pink hat, isn't it? But it is done in the same style. And I think that matches really, really well. That looks really cool. And even the detail and the texture in that pink hat. And I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to download that. And I'm going to show it to my daughter later. And she's going to say, Daddy, well, what's going on? One more final image. And this is myself playing a game of Risk. A classic game of world domination. And I'm going to move the brush hardness down a little the brush size down a little and i'm simply gonna remove this game of risk and i'm not being too precious about how i do it move down so i can see everything make sure i get everything and i am going to type in a game that came from the future so we're playing risk and this is an old version of risk if you're curious a classic version of risk and now we're looking at a game from the future. And look at that. It's, it, it's, it's got the dimensions right. It looks as if I've literally just replaced the game. You can't really make out what the game is, but it looks interesting. It could be from the future. That is very mad. That's looking a bit 3D. I don't know what's going on there. And again, that looks interesting. It maybe blends in too much to the table. That looks interesting. But I love that. I'm going to keep that. That looks really, really interesting. And it could be a board game from the future. There's something else I'm not happy about this photo. I'm going to keep that board game. My mate supports Newcastle United. And I'm not having that. Not on my YouTube channel. And I'm simply just going to type in generate. And it's come up with a bit of gibberish there. Adobe Firefly doesn't do text too well. That's quite cool. That looks like some kind of maybe foreign top. And even that actually blends in very, very well. It's not Newcastle, so I'm happy and I'm going to keep it. And this here pattern on the cup, if I want to take it away and generate, let's see what it comes up with. Let's remove the pattern and it's only making slight small changes. And I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to keep it. And that's made it. That's that's totally changed this photo. And that's Adobe Firefly. Generative fill. Play around with it yourself if you can. And if you have access to it. Upload your own photos. Because that's where the most fun is. There's images like this. Where you can just turn it on its head. It's an unbelievable time we live in. Where we can take images. And completely remove things. Completely change things up. That board game. That drone photo, my daughter's drawn, and Adobe Firefly and other AI tools are just going to get better and better and better and better. It's very, very cool. It's very, very exciting. It's very, very scary all at the same time. But that's generally the fill and Adobe Firefly.